we just determine the values uh, that are coming out of the uh, continuity equation and z component of momentum equation in the uh, navier stokes equation for the problem at hand and therefore from there what we have to do is to integrate these values these terms that we have obtained and you will recall that we obtain d to w over dx2 is equal to rho g over uh, mu so if we integrate it then we will find the solution for the velocity component w and that component is the velocity component which will represent the fluid motion the oil moving in the downward direction purely due to gravity and as is the standard practice c1 and c2 appearing here are constants of integration that we have to determine by applying the boundary conditions that we have listed out and that we observe as a part of the problem of uh, this particular problem so as we apply the boundary conditions we obtain that c2 is equal to 0 and similarly when we apply the value of dw by dx when x is equal to h we obtain that c1 turns out to be this and therefore our solution w looks like this and how does it appear it's appearing that w you can see that there is a square term but however x is the length and it is appearing as x minus 2h factor is also there with multiplied by x so the positivity or negativity of these things are going to affect the direction of the velocity component what happens if x is greater than 2h and what happens when it is less than 2h so there will be a difference and the same thing is being shown is being discussed here however the pressure term will be the same pressure which exist in atmosphere so p will have a constant value p atmospheric we verify these results and now we come to the normalization the last part of this question and for normalization we proceed as we did before in the last question and it's a similar kind of exercise the same thing we have to do that if there is length we have to find the non dimensional value of x by dividing it with some standard length that exist in the problem and a standard length that we observe is the h the width of the film is part of the problem so if we divide x by h we get a normalized value so x star or x asterisk will be ratio a number and it will be therefore it will be dimensionless because a number has no dimension uh, similarly the other values and that is what we we obtain and when we plot it we observed that how the velocity field changes the w is changing with respect to x as x increases the velocity of w is also slightly increasing as the x is increasing the velocity is decreasing you can see that there is a, a downfall but of course the other problem is that the w is being shown as acting in the negative direction so that is why we have to observe the the direction is important velocity uh, because it's a vector quantity so it has a di direction and therefore it is important it is taking place only because of the gravity 
gravity acts in the downward direction so omega the only motion of the fluid that takes place is in the downward direction and that is what is reflected in the picture you see the variation of w and x with change in with the change and you can see from 0 to 1 as x reaches its maximum value you can see that the w also reaches kind of its maximum value in the downward direction and uh, its profile is parabolic if you see it should be parabolic as is represented by this equation there is x square appearing here which shows that the velocity profile must be parabolic in nature so we are seeing it it's parabolic in the diagram that we see here so thus we have plotted it as well and that completes the solution of the problem at hand